I'm Michael, and it's February 9th, 2023, and I am here at Home Baptist Church to set up a brand new computer for the administrative staff. The hardware is excellent, but as you know, hardware is only part of the picture. I submitted three proposals for three great machines, and the machine that they chose is the best of the proposed machines. And so, again, it's not about brand, but it's about the particular computer. And this particular computer has all the elements for longevity and long-term use. But the hardware is only part of the picture. The other part of the picture is the software. So the software environment being Microsoft Windows, we're going to tune it so that there is less background applications running, that there is less jitter, less interference, that the overall settings of the Windows environment is optimized so that when they run programs, when they do their tasks, when they look for files and load files and access the internet, that they're able to do that in the most efficient way possible. One should never assume that just because you have top-end hardware that the software you load on it is automatically going to benefit from that hardware. And so tuning the Windows environment will ensure that they get the maximum benefit out of the Windows environment and the hardware that it's running on. So stay tuned, and this is going to be a nice, straightforward, clean ride through the setup of Microsoft Windows in 2023. All right, so we have a surge protector. Uh, it has a three-prong outlet. So once uh, we get this plugged in and in gear, uh, we'll be ready to go with the next stage of this. So as I was saying earlier, I'm going to remove the built-in antivirus because let's say antivirus that you trust, it is um, going to do more harm than good in terms of slowing the computer down and reducing the efficiency of the machine. So I'm gonna get all of this plugged in and um, I'll be right back. My initial goal will be to get the desktop environment established and set up, following that to make sure all of the updates are done. So I wanna make sure that the Windows updates are done 
I want to make sure that the Microsoft Store updates are done and any of the built-in applications that I'm going to retain, that I'm going to keep, I'm going to make sure they are updated as well if they are not governed by either Windows Update or the Microsoft Store. Okay, so we are fully logged in. The very first thing I want to do is remove the built-in antivirus. As you can see on your computers, when they come out of the box, they have close to 100 programs running at the same time. Here I have 73 background processes, 74, 75. Anyway, so I, that's background processes, right? Windows processes overall, I have 111. And so we want to reduce the impact of all of those processes. 35% uh, of the memory is being used. So we want to improve the memory utilization of this machine. Go ahead and restart. And by the way, the antivirus that I just removed is a good um, antivirus package. But if you're not going to pay the subscription, you may as well remove it. And that's a general principle. What you don't need, you should remove. And that is going to be the first thing that will boost your performance and stability of the machine. In general, I suggest waiting about two minutes before you log in. Whenever you see the login screen, wait about two minutes. Um, it never fails. Uh, during this setup process, I'm going to forgo that um, and move through the modifications in a slightly accelerated clip. I'm also going to remove the trial version of Microsoft 365. Again, it's going to go unused, so there's no point in actually having it there. All right, so we're also going to get the updates for the Microsoft Store. Windows Update. We haven't checked for updates yet. Let's go ahead and trigger that process. Some might say at this point, well, you're going to install Office anyway. Well, maybe, maybe not. But if you do, you, um, you're, you're not certain which type of Office you're going to install, whether you're going to install Microsoft 365 or are you going to do the uh, classic desktop version. And we don't want any collisions. We don't want any confusions. Um, I've seen situations in the past where um, if you leave the trial version of 365 installed and then you install the permanent version, right, the one that doesn't require an annual fee, then you'll end up with duplicate icons, such as uh, you might have a 365 version of the Word icon and a permanent version of the Word icon, or it just may get confused. And they probably cleaned that up, but why chance it and why have duplicate installs uh, when you can have just one install base. So the Microsoft Store has updated itself and that's why it closed out. So it updated itself. Now let's go double check the work that's being done. So Microsoft Store updated itself but now it has other updates that it needs to needs to go through. You'll notice up here I have an icon for Kindle but and I can unpin it from the start. But where does that Kindle app actually reside? I also have one here for Instagram and ESPN and TikTok. I know that I know that these apps are never going to be used on here, 
So let's go ahead and remove those. And if at some point they are needed, they can be easily added. But as you can see, um, it was pretty straightforward to remove those from this menu here. But whoever set up uh, this this uh, Windows for uh, for for this this particular hardware, this specific this specific machine, um, the the agreement that they made with the various manufacturers of software, um, they probably um, they probably really like reading, so. It would appear that all of our updates for Microsoft Store um, is in place, so we're in good shape there. And we have Office removed, but we do not have the icons removed. So this is the classic control panel. So what we what we can identify is that. There are two places to remove and manage apps. It's kind of confusing, actually, when you think about it, right? Because um, we clearly clicked uninstall here. But that type of setting panel is still a work in progress. Um, it was introduced, uh, its predecessor was introduced in Windows 10. And so this here, it's going to be a much more reliable way to remove uh, such things. I also have Web Advisor by McAfee. So even though we uninstalled the, the antivirus, there's still residue left from the install of that pro or the pre-packaging of that program onto the computer. So in order to be thorough, we'll want to remove that. So I'm going to conclude this discussion uh, today. You kind of see the direction that I'm going with this. Um, I'm also going to um, get O and O software's um, various tools and utilities to uh, further configure the computer. So hopefully this brief um, walkthrough was illuminating and you find some value in, in this for your own endeavors to make computers work much better for you. An important part of a computer setup is making sure updates are applied across the spectrum. That includes updates of the machine hardware itself, what some would call a BIOS update or UEFI update. But then there are multiple operating system updates. So in the case of Microsoft Windows, you may think that you're doing the updates once when you initially log into the computer, but the best way to update Microsoft Windows is to do all the updates in sequence. So you do a couple updates, then you reboot the computer, and you do another batch of updates. And then you also have the hardware updates from the vendor itself, in this case, Dell, and their hardware updates. And so once you've updated the vendor software, as well as Microsoft Windows and the Microsoft Store, you uh, then reboot the computer a couple of times to make sure that the updates are seated firmly in place. And so this long, this um, extended updating process can go for some time. Um, in some cases, it can go for an hour or more, but it's absolutely vital to ensure that the updates are done properly. There is a fair amount of waiting in between update sequences. That's why it's good to plan your computer setup so that you can layer different tasks as you're waiting for updates to conclude.